Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Well, spring is here and the makeup launches are finally happening. First it started out with foundations, but lately there have been tons of lips that have been launching. And you know how much I love lip products. It is just one of those easy things that can change the whole mood of your face. Not to mention, if you don't even have a face on, you just put on a lip and all of a sudden you look a little more perked up and polished. At least that's how I feel. All right, so as I've been perusing the aisles of Sephora lately, I've been picking up like one-offs here and there. And all of a sudden I was like, oh gosh, I have a bunch. We need to talk about these. It's spring, the perfect time to like brighten up your lip, lighten it up and make it a little juicier. For those of you who are new to my channel, hello, welcome. My name is Jennifer. I'm into all things hair care, skincare, and makeup. So if that sounds like something you're into, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. You know you're gonna come back anyway. All right, friends, let's just go light and easy to drama. All right, you guys, I have shown you this once before. This is from Item Beauty. It is their Lip Quip Oil. I have it in the shade Heart Poppin', which is like a cherry red. Now, basically, this is just a lip oil. When it comes to lip oils, there's not much to them. Obviously, they usually have an oil base. This one I picked up in the brightest color I could find because I like to just give my lips a little more pop. I mean, when you see this color, you're like, what the hell? But when it goes on the lips, it is a sheer wash of like a cherry red. Red, which I think is beautiful. Now, lip oils don't usually last a long time on the lip. You have to reapply several times throughout the day, but the whole point is that they are moisturizing and conditioning and nourishing your lips. So for me, that is the perfect way to start off my makeup routine. I will put a lip oil on before I do anything else so that my lips are getting like conditioned throughout the entire process. This one here, I have been enjoying thoroughly. As you can tell, uh-huh, she's a little deeper than you would expect but when she's on and you have spread her around mm, it's just that nice juicy brightness that i like for my lips in the spring and summer not to mention it feels really nice now this has kind of a fruity smell it reminds me of the jolly ranchers the watermelon i don't know if that's the right one but it's got that kind of like artificial fruit but in a good way now the thing with lip oils like i said nourishing conditioning moisturizing however they do tend to move around so just be careful because if you're like me and you're constantly rubbing your lips together, it's going to end up outside the lines. This isn't as, I want to say, as oily as some other ones I've used where some of them are just like, you look like you've been eating a whole bucket of fried chicken. This one will stay put a little better and the color does last. I really, I've really been enjoying this. Now this is $14 for 0.13 ounces. So that's actually not a lot of product. You think, oh, 14 bucks, that's inexpensive. Sure. And it is. I mean, how often do we go, well, at least me, how often do I go through an entire lip product? Not very often. It has to be something I ride hard for. I can name a couple, but I won't. But if you really look at this, and I don't know if you can actually see it, when the applicator is outside, this is like probably only half full. Because the minute I put the applicator in, it displaces the product and it looks fuller than it is. So don't think that you're getting a super bargain. I mean, yeah, it is only $14, but there's not a ton of product. You know how on Sex and the City, the city was like another character? My hair is like another character on this channel. I just, I'm not in control of her. I have no idea what she's gonna do. She's just her own character. All right, so next up from Patrick Ta, this is the Major Volume Plumping Lip Gloss. I have it in the shade Full Syringe here again. I like the bright shades. I told you why. So unlike our moisturizing, nourishing lip oil, this is a plumping lip gloss. Now, for those of you who do not like sting, this might irritate you a little bit. It's made with cinnamon and ginger to give like that instant kind of, it brings like heat to your lips so it will brighten them up a little bit and it's supposed to plump them. I don't know. My upper lip is losing its volume. Is this going to help? I don't know. I'm willing to try anything though. Now my lips do look pretty similar to the lip oil. However, this is a gloss, so it is stickier. It is a plumper, so it does have that tingle. And it actually has, like I can smell the cinnamon. So it's kind of nice if you're talking to someone, they're gonna get like that waft of like, ooh, she has fresh breath. That's actually one of the reasons why I like plumpers. I just like giving off that fresh scent. I think it's lovely. Now, whereas I wouldn't recommend using the lip oil over top of your lipstick because it is going to kind of disintegrate it, this can go over the top of your lipstick and just punch it up beautifully. So at $24 for 0.3 ounces, it is actually almost double the product of the lip oil. 
So you're getting way more of this. So price per dollar, this is actually more affordable. But if you're just looking for a shiny red lip on the cheap, 14 bucks, how can you go wrong? I do like the way this feels. It's not like super sticky and tacky, but you know it's not going to slide around. If anything, I hope I'm getting you to be less fearful of the bright colors and not always getting the clear ones or the light pink ones. The bright ones are really the ones that make your lips look so youthful. All right, next up from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Hyaluronic Happy Kiss Lipstick Balm. Yeah, I have to read my notes because all the words. I have this in the shade Enchanting Kiss, which is this beautiful pigmented lipstick balm. I know it's like everything. It's nourishing and soothing. It has pigment almost like a lipstick and it is shiny like a lip gloss. It has everything and it actually eerily reminded me of the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glows and actually these are literally the same components. They both only twist up and not down this is Mario shade Rose Glow. So you can see I even have like similar shades here. Although this might be closer to the apricot glow that's in my purse. Now the Makeup by Mario one I have shown you before. I love these. They are, how much are they? $22 for 0 0.08 ounces. The Charlotte Tilbury one is also 0 0.08 ounces for $34. So it's $12 more, same amount of product. And really, same kind of vibe. Although I will say the Makeup by Mario ones are definitely like a juicier, glossier lip. All right, let's give Charlotte her chance. So this feels like a very nourishing lipstick. I mean, it's thicker than the glosses. It does have that tackiness, but not like sticky. You just know that it's going to stay in place and it has the shine. And because it has hyaluronic acid in it, it's going to hydrate our lips. So it's exactly what they say it is. It's a lipstick balm, although I'd probably call it a lipstick balm gloss. It has everything in it. Like seriously, when they made this, they threw everything but the kitchen sink at it. I'm not mad at that. And here again, this is another one you could just throw in your purse. You don't need a lip liner. It's your lipstick and your lip gloss and your lip balm all in one. $34, yeah, it's pricey, but it's Charlotte Tilbury. We expect that from her. If you want glamour, you gotta pay for it. All right, next up from Makeup by Mario. These were like a two-part launch. This is their Cozy Lip Creams. They first launched just three colors and then last week they launched the rest of the line. And that's what I have here. I have two shades. I have Nude Suede and Rich Rose. And I bought them because I could literally make a ton of different looks with them. So I'm gonna show you what we can do. Also in the launch, he dropped some more of his lip pencils. This is the shade Smoky Pink. So I got it because do I not have enough pink shades? Of course I do. But if I'm gonna pick up the Cozy Lip Cream, I'm definitely gonna get a new lip pencil. All right, so let me show you got here. So here is the shade Smoky Pink. Beautiful, wouldn't you say? I think it's very versatile. You can wear it with browns, you can wear it with pinks, you can wear it with nudes. I think it's just really going to complement a lot of the lipsticks I have. All right, now Nude Suede. This is a color that I don't put all over my lips just because I am so fair that it just makes me look like a corpse. If you have more olive tone skin or anything darker than my complexion, this looks gorgeous on you. I use shades like this inside of a darker lip liner, or I will use it just in the center of my lips. I will show you both. And then here's the other shade I got. This is Rich Rose. And is that not my shade? Yes, it is. So after I line, I use this nice lip brush end that's on the pencil. I love that it's here. And I just move the product more to the center of my lips but not all the way. And I do concentrate it like more heavily on the corners because I'm not gonna go in with our nude suede all the way to the corner. What's nice is it has this nice curve to it and in the center of it is kind of a little divot where the product sits. So it's nice, it holds a lot of product. So it's basically one swipe, you don't have to dip back in. All right, so I just go in the center, lips together, and then tap it out. So as you can see, just adding this light nude suede to the center allows the actual lip liner to be the shade of my lips, which I like a lot. This just kind of brightens my lip, makes it look a little plumper, and keeps it nice and neutral. For me, this is like a casual everyday look. As a matter of fact, I wore this the other day when I went to the mall. I was wanting to see how it would wear and it wore beautifully. Now, if I want to punch it up like you know I like to, I will top it off with a gloss. This here is the Pro Volume Lip Gloss in the shade Rose Nude from Makeup by Mario. I've had this for quite some time. I use it all the time because it's amazing. It's literally, I think it's one of my favorite lip gloss toppers. Just wait, watch. 
So she looks nude, she looks matte. Oh, and did I mention, even though this is like a matte formula and it's called the Cozy, what is it called? The Cozy Lip Cream. It's because it is. You can rub your lips back and forth together and it doesn't have that like dried down matte feeling. It has this very mm, comfortable glide to it, but it's matte. So it's so confusing to me because I'm so used to mattes being like uncomfortable and dry. This is smooth and comfortable and you don't even notice it's on your lips. However, if I want to top this off and just punch her up, look at that. Come on now. So now that matte, casual, comfortable day look is like glittery and ready for an evening. And at $22, this is a staple for me. I, it is so dramatic how it can change a lip look that I have to have this. So for Rich Rose, I found that the shade Daniel in the lip pencil worked really well with it. Now I ha I've had Daniel for a couple months. Let me show you. You see how that has like a little more of a pink hue to it than Smoky Pink does? And don't forget in your Makeup by Mario lip liner boxes, there's always a sharpener, so don't throw that out. All right, Daniel, let's see what you got. All right, this one I'm not gonna feather out as much as I did the other one. I just wanna make sure it doesn't have a harsh line. And now for a Rich Rose. Is that my pink? or what. And here again, it is super comfortable. It gives like this blurring effect to your lips so they don't look as lined as they may be. And as I get older, the lines just seem to appear more and more, but it just feels so good. It is so comfortable. I'm, I'm really blown away with this. I have hated matte lipsticks for the longest time, and this here has totally changed it for me. All right, now let me show you what I would do with Nude Suede because this is what I really got her for. Just a little in the center of my bottom lip, and just dab it out. It instantly gives more of like a tonal kind of ombre effect to it and gives my lips a little more dimension. I love it. Seriously, I bought this just to dab the center of my lips. I know, listen, I'm extra. That's why I have this channel. At least that's what I told myself. Now, you didn't think I'd stop there, did you? Of course not. I'm gonna go back in with the Pro Volume Lip Gloss I mean, come on. These lips, I just, yeah, these are the lips that I always want. I want them to have the perfect shade for my skin tone. I want them to be comfortable. I want them to be matte. I want them to be shiny. I want what I want when I want it. Each and every one of these lip looks, all the way from the lip oil to the cozy cream, are like my favorites. I love every single one of these. And for me, that's what spring is all about. New lips, new colors, new vibes, and I need that. I mean, where I live, we have a very long winter. So the minute spring makeup starts showing up, I need it on my face and my lips. All right, friends, you tell me, which of these are the ones that you are most apt to buy? Are you always buying lip oils or are you always buying like full coverage lipsticks? As we all know, I buy everything. What I really wanted to accomplish today was show you that there is a full range from the most basic nourishing to the most full-on glam at Sephora right now in spring colors. And they all are super freaking comfortable. Cosmetic brands are coming around to the fact that we want to look pretty and we want to be comfortable. It's like we've all been saying to them for years, yeah, I like that, but does it come with pockets? All right, friends, well, if any of these have piqued your interest, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you were thinking of getting. And even though the Pro Volume Lip Gloss is not new, it is definitely worth having. Oh yeah, and these moisture glows and the lip liners. All right, friends, well, I hope you enjoyed watching me play with some spring lip looks. If you like this video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me and my channel. And if you wanna see more of my nonsense, hit that notification bell. I do upload Monday, Wednesday, Fridays at 12.15. But in case you're not thinking of me all the time, the notification will pop up so you will know she for sure uploaded a video. All right, friends, as always, I wanna thank you so much for being with me and I'll see you real soon. Mm -hmm.